gone bad. And well, today I'm going to be doing a review on a program called ManyCam. That's M-A-N-Y-C-A-M. Not sure how you pronounce that, but I'm pretty sure it's called ManyCam. So first thing first, you can download ManyCam at ManyCam.com. And again, that's M-A-N-Y-C-A-M. Dot com. The link to ManyCam.com will be in the video description. So, um, for those of you who don't know what ManyCam is, it's basically a program that lets you put effects over live video. This is used mainly for people that go on live, for example, let's say on um, BlockTV.com. And, yeah, as I said, you can put effects on live video. So, speaking of Block TV, be there every Friday at 8 p.m. Pacific Time. I'm on live, just there. Um, to help people. So if you don't get any, of my, if you don't didn't get a tutorial or having trouble with something technology related, I'll be there to help. So be there. So continuing on with the tutorial, um, Minicam lets you do a lot of stuff. Starting off, you could choose which camera you want to use. Right now, I'm using my webcam, which explains why the quality is so bad in the picture. So you could also hook up another camera to any camera that could take like a USB or whatever and you could connect it to your laptop, Minicam, you could, or you could use it with Minicam. So you just select your camera and then you could get started. You could do many stuff like put movies, um, put a movie, put still images over the video. And this one is really, really important for me since I'm always going on blogtv.com every Friday at 8 p.m. Pacific time. Um, I'm mainly there to help people out with tutorials or anything that they don't get about technology. So in order to help people out, people need to see my desktop so I can show them how to do it. So I love this feature with Minicam. Just click this desktop right here, the desktop button, and click on full desktop. And there you have it. It's a screen recorder that can go live. I can't do this with, like, let's say Camtasia Studios 5. I can't do this. I can't put, I can't record with Camtasia Studios 5 and go live at the same time. So I do it with Minicam and it's just a great feature. So that's it for the sources panel or the sources tab. Now let's go to the effects tab and this is where we get, we get started with the fun. So I'm going to select my basic webcam again and go to the effects. Now there are countless effects, even effects that you could download off of Minicam.com. Go to Minicam.com, click on the Effects tab or the Effects section of the Minicam website, and you can download many, many, many effects that people upload to the website. So that's cool. And so let's get let let me show you guys some effects that I could do. We could do let's say we could do 3D animation. This I downloaded from Minicam.com. It's clapping hands. So whenever you want someone to clap, just put these on and they'll clap simple as that. And anytime you put an effect on your video, um, you're going to see it under the selected effects um, section right here. So if you want to get rid of it, just press X and just like that, it is gone. Next, you could put background. Now this is really great because you don't even need a green screen for this. Now if you have a well lit green screen, it's going to work better. But look, I just have a normal background. Yes, my green screen is right there, but this is a normal background right now. So all you have to do is click up here, click take snapshot. This will pop up. You want to get out of the way. So let me do that. So you want to get out of the way of the picture and click on take snapshot. Three, two, one. And that didn't work out too good. Let's do it again. Once you have a picture of your background that you like, just press accept. And then now you just choose any background that you want. They have both dynamic and static. So dynamic is dynamic is a moving background like this. As you can see, I put let me move there. I put clouds in the background. So that this is I believe I downloaded this off the website too. But there there it is. I put clouds in the background. And I can also put a static picture, like let's say a picture of the Vista background. So Let's find that here, and there it is, the Vista background, or a sunset, mountains, there's just, there's just countless opportunities, countless stuff that you could do. So some more effects, let's go to color effects. You could uh, change stuff like you could put an alien effect, black and white, ghost, negative, and sepia. I like how sepia looks, so I'm going to keep that. We could do dynamic stuff like I could put flames onto the screen. 
I could put snow. I could actually make it snow. I could put water so it looks all rippled and it looks like I'm underwater. And again, if you don't want the effect, you just press X and it's gone. Um, you could do lens stuff like mess with the lens and make you bulge. Put a mirror. Um, let's we can make our face shrink. Make make our face warp. Squeeze, square, distort, and just a bunch of other stuff. Um, we could also add face accessories. This is really really cool because it just detects where your face is. So for example, we could put some funny looking eyeglasses. Let's do. Let's do some. Let's do pink glasses. Let's put that on me. Just stand still, let it locate your face, and there it is. I got pink glasses on me. If you don't like that, let's put an eye patch. Stand still, and there it is. I have an eye pot, an eye patch on me. It just detects your face and it puts it on your face. So I'm gonna get rid of that eye patch. Now let's go to face. We could actually put faces on me. So I downloaded a bunch of faces off of Amenicam.com. So let's do a. And there it is. I got Mr. Bean on me. Now let's put some hair. Put an afro. There it is. I got an afro. Let's go Super Saiyan. Super Saiyan. Um, hats, hats. Let's put Mickey Mouse. There it is. Um, I could keep going on forever. There's just countless effects, countless stuff. Um, let me just go through this briefly. Um, you could put text over video, date and time, and actually draw over the video. Um, just choose the brush, choose the color, choose the weight of the brush and just draw and there it is and this all shows up live while you're doing it so that's pretty much it there are a lot of effects that you could put a lot of effects that you could download there's just countless stuff that you could do with ManyCam. so again you could download this wonderful program at manycam.com and hope you guys like it hope you guys um hope it helps you guys in your live shows and just overall i hope you guys have fun with it i know i had a bunch of fun with it when i first started with it when i first um, discovered it just a bunch of fun so there it is there you have it and this is my tutorial um, on many cam so until the next tutorial I'll see you guys